that your name, California? No, ma'am. That's just where I hope to go. Clear out to the coast. Well, why not? You going my way? Uh, no, no, not exactly. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if I ought to pick up any young man like you. Uh, my husband might not like it. Well, he don't have to know. I can keep a secret. Uh, too close to home. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm on a go in the three miles into Gallico. Well, three miles is three miles. I'd sure like to get cleaned up and a cup of coffee. Golly, you know, I'd sure like to, but uh, I hadn't better. Uh, I'll tell you, if you're dropping by for coffee, I'll see you there. The coffee shop, the travelers. Me and my husband own the place. Your husband might not like that either. Well, he don't have to know. <laughs> he won't be there. Do you mean to tell me that your husband trusts you running a big business like that all by yourself? Just me and the cook. He'll fry you up a mighty fine breakfast. Well, I'll have to settle for a coffee. Plus, of course, some good Samaritan might see a way clear to providing me something more substantial. Say, you sure ain't short on nerve, are you? You'd be surprised what comes your way if you're not too proud to ask. And accept. You are the most unusual boy. Yeah. I don't mean to be difficult, but... Uh, well, I mean, I can't talk you into doing something you don't want to do. I know. But I mean, I really am sorry. I can't give you a lift. But I can give you something to eat. At least I can do. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's real sweet of you, but you don't have to. Oh, I know. I know I don't have to. But I want to. I'm for the underdog. <laughs> well, thanks anyway, but I'm not the underdog. No. No, I guess you wouldn't be. Anyhow, do drop in for a complimentary breakfast. A traveler's coffee shop. Really do. Just don't let our like to know me. Well, I don't. to stop that blubbering. A man can't think with that going on. Who could have done it, Rufus? A thing like this. A man with a knife. Why? Why, her? Why not? You wasn't here to stop him. You know who you was? Oh, sure. You seen me down in the town? That's right. I seen you drunk like every other Friday night of your life. And what do you think she was doing all them Friday nights? What's any woman going to do? She ain't got a man around the house. Don't you go blaming her. My fault, sure, but not Eddie. I blame you both. You've been looking in the bottles. She's been looking sideways at anything that wears pants. So one of them looks back and he's got a knife. Now I'll say she asked for it and so did you. No, no, I'd have done anything. I'd have died for it. Well, maybe you did. Maybe this whole town did. Now we go hunting someone else to kill. Turn loose of her hand, Harry. It's too late for that. <laughs> Yourself, but like with Harry, ain't there ever a time for easing up? That's what comes from easing up. Come on, animal. You like the smell. <laughs> Different.
come back now, here. One chili sire, it's coming up. Hey, Gobert. Easy on the hot sauce. It's loaded. Yes, sir. What'll it be? Mm. Let's see. Maybe just a cup of coffee. Not all. Oh, now, how about some nice griddle cakes, hash browns, a couple eggs, any style, choice of beverage? Businessman's breakfast, 95 cents. For sure, sir. All right, stuck me into it. Over easy on the eggs. Coffee now? I'm sure, why not? BB over easy. This is land breakfast. Say, I see you got California written on that bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm headed anyway. Pays to advertise, huh? Well, the idea is so the cat wouldn't think I was just going a few miles, you know. He's, uh, these little rides can really be a drag, man, while the big ones pass you by. Yeah, I guess Bowman had sort of gone out of style some. A few guys running for the rep. Like always, sticking tourists up, banging them on the heads and such. That's what gave Bowman a bad name. You must have uh, hit the road a couple of times yourself. Oh, well, yeah, I made that scene. Of course, then it was all the rage to give a lift to our boys in uniform. It was a war on then, you know. I heard about it. So what do some of these criminal-type bums do? Put on phony uniforms, start sticking them up and banging them on their heads some more. Of course, uh, this was all before your time, I guess. Oh, I was alive. I mean, uh, I didn't know which end was up. And now you do? Well, you tell me about it, because I sure don't know. Businessman's breakfast, coming up. One businessman's breakfast going down. Where at in California? Hollywood? You gonna be a movie star? Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Why not? You ever listen, Farm? This fella here, he's at the store by himself. Now, Bert, don't you get started. How come? Now, there's a conversation in here segregated to him and the fry cook. I mean, this here is quite an honor. Just talking to somebody who's gonna be a movie star. You know, Fern, we ought to get his autograph now while it's still cheap. I never said I was gonna be a movie star. He asked me if I wanted to be one, and I said, sure, why not? Oh, I still say why not. Oh, is that what you say? Well, I'll tell you why not. You know where to get the movie stars? New York, that's where. Out of them big Broadway plays or some TV shows like Ed Sullivan. I mean, they got to be somebody in the first place. They just don't make no movie star out of somebody coming off the streets. Even if they are pretty, which I got to admit you are pretty. Listen, I never said I was gonna be one. I never even said I'm going to Hollywood. But I just bet you are. Well, all right, I am. And I'll tell you something else. I've been in a play. And I've, I've also been on TV, too, in a, in a commercial. Well, shut my big, fat mouth. A commercial. What kind? That was soap. Soap? What was you doing? Taking a bubble bath? I was taking a shower. <laughs> taking a shower. <laughs> Oh, brother, taking a shower. <laughs> Fern, don't you bet you look real cute? Yeah? Tell me, kid, I often wondered when they're taking them pictures of some man or woman taking a shower. Oh, lay off, Bert. What's got into you anyhow? Me? What'd I do? A man comes in here, he's making certain claims. We never claimed nothing. He said he was taking a shower. Which wouldn't do you no harm. Well, would you listen to her? 
Looks like you got your first fan here already, kid. Sit. Sit. Stay. Hey, Rupert. He's just in time. Byron here's got herself a new crush. Yeah, who's that? That young fellow sitting right there. He's going to Hollywood and going to be a movie star. Byrne here seems to think he's going to make out real good. Yeah, well, maybe he will at that. What's it to you? Boy, it's nothing to me, Rufus. It's CCL. My wife's entitled to her own opinion. You bet, Rufus. CCL. Couldn't care less. That's a great motto for a deputy, Bert. Yes, sir, you're a real dedicated man. Where'd you leave your badge this time? Better right in my pocket. Well, stick it right there in your shirt, stupid, and get on over to the jail where I told you to stay put. Sure, Rufus. I just took out eating time. I was on my way when you come in. Sure you was. How's manhunt going? Suppose you tell me. Just an idea. Driving your own car? Well, no, uh, not exactly. I'm, I'm sort of walking. Uh-huh. Sort of thumbing rides. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah. Well, better not let me see you doing it within 10 miles of this town, boy. Just a friendly warning. All right. You could get picked up on a vag, Judge. And we don't like to do that. You don't. No. Means we gotta put a clean sheet in one of the beds. Give you a hot meal. Makes a lot of extra book work, too. You know, some of these bums actually try to get picked up just for a place to sleep and something to eat. They do. Mm hmm. But never twice in this town, boy. Because before we tuck them in a nice, clean sack, we gotta be sure they ain't gonna foul up our sheets. So we have to put them through the delouser. See what I mean? Well, no, not really. You heard of a GI shower? Like with the wire brushes? That's the idea. Time we put them to bed, them bums are pink and clean as newborn babes. Well, you sure won't see me out there thumbing a ride. Well, I drive a car with no special markings. Just a friendly warning. Thanks. Thanks to you, ma'am. Ow! Oh! Two nickels. Is that the new price of the businessman's breakfast? He only ordered coffee. Dirtied a lot of dishes for one cup of coffee. Uh, somebody else dirtied them dishes. Yeah, yeah, oh. I just ain't had time Who to well do it. I don't know, I don't know. Oh. Joe. Now, look. I try to run this place on a profit basis. Not a lot of profit. Just enough to round out what the sheriff's job don't pay. And I'd sure hate to think that my wife has given it away. She never gave away nothing, she No. Never... Then who ordered the businessman's breakfast? All right, that's what the kid ordered. Maybe he forgot. Uh, maybe he got rattled and thought he was just leaving a tip. Maybe my wife got rattled and thought he paid the bill on account of her having a new crack. Oh! 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 O
Social Security card. I'm a discharge. American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. No money. Not even no restaurant credit card. Oh, look, I left my last dime back there. The lady said... But I you tell... ordered a businessman's breakfast. Boy, you're 85 cents short. Hey, Rufus, who you got there? What'd you get him for? What'd you do? Oh, my. Well, that ain't the one. That ain't the one. I don't know yet. Could be, just maybe could be. Well, who is he? What's he done? Killed Aggie Kettleman, Rufus said. I said could be. How'd you catch on to him, Rufus? Let me get him. Oh, they all make one stupid mistake. He tried to run out in his bill in the coffee shop. At Rufus' coffee shop? Well, listen to this. In a supporting cast, young Gabe Flanders gave an undisciplined but vivid performance. Joan definite promise as a girl crazy Thrill killer. Well, that's what it says. He showed definite promise. This mean you, boy? Oh, for God's sake, that's just a write-up of a show I was doing. A little theater play. Well, you may end up in a big time yet. Now, come on, boy, I'm booking you. What charge? Oh, petty theft, vagrancy. Concealed weapons, no visible means of support. Get his stuff. In the meantime, we cast around and see what else we can come up with. He met you out along the road before he got to town. Says you stopped that little pickup truck, and then you two had a nice little visit. Then you told him to come on into town, and you'd put out a nice little breakfast he wouldn't have to pay for. Now, is he lying? I never seen him before he come in the coffee shop. Honest, Rufus. You mean you never stopped along the road in that little pickup truck to have a visit with this nice-looking boy? No, no, I, I, went, I must have gone right on by without even seeing him. It, it's just like I told you, Rufus. He, he just run out on the bill. But, gee, 85 cents. I don't mean he... Of course not, of course not. Don't mean he attacked Aggie Kettleman, don't mean he killed it. One thing's probably got nothing to do with the other. Only this here's a real mixed-up boy. Must have a real blowed-up idea about himself to tell that kind of story and think my wife would back it up. After taking one look at his big blue eyes. What say, boy? My wife a liar? No, no, I'm no liar. I never saw her before. She never told me she'd give me my breakfast. Is that what you want to hear? Yeah. That's it. And for your sake, I'm glad you said it, boy. Because I'd hate like the devil to think that my wife would stop and talk to any stranger along the road. Like some loose kind of woman. You see something funny, Bert? Not me, Rufus. CCL, that's me. Take this over to the jail. I'll take it. You close up. Uh, I don't think that's one of your better ideas, Mr. Selman. I know. But I got to, Joe. I just got to. No need for you waiting around for the tray far enough. Bring it by in the morning. I'm waiting for Rufus anyhow. In there? With him? I'm a sight better off in there with him than out here with you. At least he's in a cage. Why, Fern? I ever say something you could take two ways? Never mind what you said. I don't like the way you clean your teeth when you look at me. 
there's some law against looking? If there is, Rufus knows it. Well, I sure don't mean to come between you and him, Fern. You better believe it, Bert. Now, open that door and close it behind me. CCF. food on the house? Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Oh, forget it. I got the whole picture. I'm not blaming you. Look, he'll let you out. The devil just got up all scaring everybody before he turns them loose. Oh. He must be about ready to turn you loose. That's different. Yeah. Well, he's got you scared as to all. I don't want to talk about that. Now, what do you want to talk about? How I attacked that woman and cut her up with my knife? Then you can go tell Ruth. Oh, don't I... talk like that. Why not? Isn't that what they're all saying? Nobody believes that. Not even Rufus. Nobody in his right mind could think a good-looking boy like you would have to... Thanks, but I don't think anybody around here is in his right mind. you probably got more women friends you know what to do with. Yeah, maybe I ought to thank your husband. At least he put me where they can't get at me. Is that why you left New York in such a hurry? Some woman wouldn't leave you be? Who said I left in such a hurry? Well, you didn't save up very long for the trip. All right. All right, there was someone. Some woman, some older woman. Gonna be my sponsor, give me acting lessons. Buy me clothes. Then she thought she owned me. Listen, nobody does. Well... You're bringing a lot of it on yourself, you know. Yeah? How? Just the way you act. Looking the way you do. And then, the way you stand and move. What's wrong with how I stand? Oh, you know how you do. Everything you do is on purpose. Don't kid me. Listen, you gotta get me out of here. How? Where's he keep the key? Bert's got it. Well, you gotta swing with Bert. I should operate better out. Outside where I can breathe. Don't ask me that, Gabe. I can't. I just can't. All right. That's what I thought. Go on, get out of here. But I... I don't have to go, not yet. Yes, Mrs. Selman, you do. Fern. Call me Fern. No. You know what my name was before I got married? Fern Green. My mother was married to a man named Green, so she called me Fern. Ain't that a laugh? Fern's a kind of green plant that don't grow flowers and don't produce no seed. Guess she named me pretty good at that. All right. Good night, Fern. Oh, please, Gabe. Don't make me go. Couldn't we get, just get to know each other? I don't think anybody can do that. Know anyone else. Oh, you don't believe that. You've never been lonely. You know what I think? About that man killed Aggie Kettleman? Now, I think he was lonely. I think she was lonely, too. Maybe if, if they could have just talked to each other, then they wouldn't have been strangers, and, and she wouldn't have got scared and started to struggle. It made him scared. You know, Gabe, if I'd have been me instead of Aggie, I'd have talked to him. All he wanted was a little affection. But everybody gets so scared. So scared. They think it's weak to be kind. Show somebody else a little affection. So they end up killing each other. Yeah. That would have been me instead, Aggie. That man wouldn't be having her death on his conscience right now. He wouldn't have had to be afraid. Because I'd have showed him there's nothing to be afraid of. Who are you talking about? Him or me? Or maybe you think we're one and the same. Oh, no. 
I never said that. I'm only saying that all anybody wants is a little kindness. Hello, Rufus. How is it just? You are just. You're always just. I thought I broke you a pick enough with every flash of punk give you a tumble. I know you're mad, Rufus. And I expect you're going to get madder. Because he wasn't telling no lie. I did invite him in for breakfast. Fine. Now you told me. Now you pick up them dirty dishes on the floor. And you get yourself on home. And you set yourself down and you wait. Sure. Sure. I'm on my way. Think, boy, I'm letting you out. Think I was coming in there with you? Come on. Well, walk on out, boy. I won't bite you. I mean, if you let me go and her say so. Her say so don't mean beans. Now, come on in the office and sign a receipt for your personal effects. You got everything back I took off of you except the knife. That's confiscated. Sign it. Well, maybe you want to check through your bag to make sure I didn't hold out any of your valuables. If it wasn't your wife, what changed your mind? Why don't I get to know? Why not? Another woman was killed about an hour ago. Same way as Aggie Kettleman. Had to be the same man. And much as I hate to admit it, there ain't a chance in the world that you did it. I see. One thing you'll find I got in common with my wife, boy. I'm just. I figure I give you trouble enough for 85 cents. Anyway, the man was seen this time, boy named Billy George. I got Bert out rounding up a posse right now. We're going after him. You know, I, uh... I thought you had it in for me. I was wrong. No, you wasn't. You're seven miles a bad road to me, boy. I take it for shiftless and a sponger. I think you never stood face to face with a hard fact in your life. But I'm telling you one now. And you better pick up your ears. You walk careful, boy, and you get to that state highway. Don't you dawdle. Don't you look to right or left or back toward Gallico. You just keep that smell of yours pointed straight toward California. Cause I've been in charge of these hick posses before. And they liable to shoot at anything that moves. So you keep right on that road in plain sight. And there won't be no tragic mistakes, man. Just a friendly warning.
get away from me. I gotta make up to you for what happened. It was my fault. You don't owe me a thing. Oh, yes, I do. I owe you a lot. You made me make up my mind to something I've been thinking on for years. I'm leaving Rufus right now, this minute. Not for me. Oh, don't give yourself so much credit, kid. I'm not running after you. I'm just running now. Come on, get in. I'll take you all the way to California. Oh, look. If anybody sees us out here, we're dead. Well, get in then and they won't. Well, come on. <laughs> George, Rufus must have called him, asked for help. I don't think they spotted us. What if they did? It's none of their business. They don't know us. We're going through. They can't stop us. Are you crazy? They'll ask for your license, your registration. I suppose it's probably in his name, huh? Yeah, well, what if it is? I'm his wife. I got a right to drive it. I don't think that gives you any rights. Well, I can't turn back now. That side road back there we just passed. Where's it go? It's just private, a washboard. Does it go anywhere? Yeah, through old man Keel's property to the back of his house. Hey, wait, wait, sure. From the front, he's got a drive going clear out to the highway. All right, back up. Take it. to California. <laughs> well, why don't you go? Go on, take off. I can't stop you. I can't do you no good. I'm stuck. You don't need me. But I guess you need me. You mean... And you ain't running out on me? tried to help me. Other women have tried it, but never like that. I almost always left them worse off than I found them. I gotta get over that. You couldn't help it. Can't help the way you put together. You're a beautiful boy. Don't ever call me that. Oh, I don't mean it that way. You're kind. I can always tell. You try to cover up with all that swagger, but you're beautiful inside. Inside and out, yeah. I can always tell. And why did you marry Rufus? He was good to me once. He was full of plans. Gonna grow up with a town. Like the town never grew up. He's going to be big in politics, state, not just the county. Them big politicians have held him down. Why? I guess they were scared of a real man, a man that'd stand up and fight. Well, they just wouldn't fight with him. So he started fighting himself. I guess you got to feel sorry for him. Why? 
why is it everywhere you turn today, you got to feel sorry for somebody? Even him, and I do, and I don't want to. Vicky. Oh, come on. No, no, don't pull back. Don't get scared. I know I'm older. got nothing you want. Oh, look, will you stop knocking yourself? <laughs> Trying to say goodbye and can't even get that straight. <laughs> goodbye? <laughs> Some kooky name, huh? Sure, gotta be. I knew it all along. Only Gabe. Make it a sweet goodbye. One kiss is all, and I'll go back to Rufus. But I'll have something inside. Something holding me up. Oh, you're still making more of me than I really am. My kisses aren't so special. Or even so rare. And you won't miss one. sound comes out of that big kissable mouth of yours when we get home. I'll hear words and music both. Now you get back to it. You read it yet? Yeah. Yeah, I can read it. Now, every man here knows it's in the power of my office to give you a real bad time over this. You broke some laws tonight, boy. But I'm gonna be fair. Because you broke another law that ain't written down. I'll settle for that. We won't prosecute on them others. I'm just a plain citizen now, boy. Trying to protect my home and what's mine. Come on, get up. Man to man. Oh, you hit me with your rifle. You stick your dog on me. You call that man to man. When you're dealing with a young bull boy, that's the way it's got to be. You ever seen a bull fight? Fern and I used to catch him down to Juarez. First comes the picadors, then the banderillas. And they stick El Toro full of spears, like soften him up, bleed him down till he's weak. And then the matador steps in. Now we all know how it ends. But the bull. Only difference is how brave was he? Right, Fern? Leave him be, Rufus. He never did nothing, nothing. I don't care. You stand it up, boy. Just give me a couple of minutes, will you? Can't wait all night for you to grow a spine. <laughs> Something. You heard me. You gotta make everything ugly, don't you, like yourself? You gotta take everything beautiful and smash That's it. That's right, beautiful. Ah! Oh. 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 oh, stop him. Oh, for God's sake, stop him. What, you let him do that to a woman? 
What kind of men are you anyway? <laughs> They don't know the answer, boy. Because there ain't a man among them. Well, not everybody's scared of you. Not everybody's scared of you. Scared of you. for the truck. And now I'm going to take my dog and my woman home. What about him? He's hurt. You just going to leave him be? Now, what do you suggest, Fred? We make him a permanent ward of the town? Man stood up, didn't he? It's more than any of you could have done. He could have done himself this morning. But he stood up. And he'll do it again. He don't need us. Music boat. Now you get back to it. You read it yet? Yeah. Yeah, I can read it. I have a man here knows it's in the power of my office to give you a real bad time over this. You broke some laws tonight, boy. But I'm gonna be fair. Because you broke another law that ain't written down. I'll settle for that. We won't prosecute on them others. I'm just a plain citizen now, boy. Trying to protect my home and what's mine. Come on, get up. Man to man. I hit me with 
with your rifle, you stick your dog on me, you call that man a man. When you're dealing with a young bull boy, that's the way it's got to be. You ever seen a bullfight? Fern and I used to catch him down to Juarez. First comes the picadors, then the band of reals. They stick El Toro full of spears, like soften him up, bleed him down till he's weak. And then the matador steps in. Now we all know how it ends. But the bull, only difference is how brave was he? Right, Fern? Leave him be, Rufus. He never did nothing, nothing. I don't care. You stand it up, boy. Just give me a couple of minutes, will you? Can't wait all night for you to grow a spine. Something. You heard me. You gotta make everything ugly, don't you, like yourself? You gotta take everything beautiful and smash That's it. That's right, beautiful. Ah! Oh. 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 oh, stop him. Oh, for God's sake, stop him. What, you let him do that to a woman? What kind of men are you anyway? They don't know the answer, boy. Cause there ain't a man among them. So well, not everybody's scared of you. Scared. Scared of you. Suggest, Fred. We make him a permanent ward of the town. Man stood up, didn't he? It's more than any of you could have done. More than he could have done himself this morning. But he stood up. And he'll do it again. He don't need us.
I'll come back now here. One chili side. It's coming up. Hey, Gilbert. Easy on the hot sauce. It's loaded. Yes, sir. What'll it be? Mm. Let's see. Maybe just a cup of coffee. Not all. Oh, now, how about some nice griddle cakes, hash browns, a couple of eggs, any style, choice of beverage? Businessman's breakfast, 95 cents. Porsche, sir. All right, stuck me into it. Over easy on the eggs. Coffee now? I'm sure, why not? BB over easy. This is land breakfast. Say, I see you got California written on that bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm headed anyway. Pays to advertise, huh? Well, the idea is so the cat wouldn't think I was just going a few miles, you know. These, uh, these little rides can really be a drag, man, while the big ones pass you by. Yeah, I guess Bowman had sort of gone out of style some. A few guys ruin it for the rip. Like always. Sticking tourists up, banging them on the heads and such. That's what gave Bowman a bad name. You must have uh, hit the road a couple of times yourself. Oh, well, yeah, I made that scene. Of course, then it was all the rage to give a lift to our boys in uniform. It was a war on then, you know. I heard about it. So what do some of these criminal-type bums do? Put on phony uniforms, start sticking them up and banging them on their heads some more. Of course, uh, this was all before your time, I guess. Oh, I was alive. I mean, uh, I didn't know which end was up. And now you do? Well, you tell me about it, because I sure don't know. Businessman's breakfast, coming up. One businessman's breakfast going down. Where at in California? All right, there was someone. Some woman, some older woman. Gonna be my sponsor, give me acting lessons. Buy me clothes. Then she thought she owned me. Does. Well, you're bringing a lot of it on yourself, you know. Yeah? How? Just the way you act. Looking the way you do. Learn the way you stand and move. What's wrong with how I stand? Oh, you know how you do. Everything you do is on purpose. Don't kid me. Listen, you gotta get me out of here. How? Why does he keep the key? Bert's got it. Well, you got a swing with Bert. I should operate better out. Outside where I can breathe. Don't ask me that, Gabe. I can't. I just can't. All right. That's what I thought. Go on, get out of here. But I... I don't have to go, not yet. Yes, Mrs. Selman, you do. Fern. Call me Fern. No. You know what my name was before I got married? Fern Green. My mother was married to a man named Green, so she called me Fern. Ain't that a laugh? Fern's a kind of green plant that don't grow flowers and don't produce no seed. Guess she named me pretty good at that. All right. Good night, Fern. Oh, please, Gabe. Don't make me go. Couldn't we get, just get to know each other? I don't think anybody can do that. Know anyone else. Oh, you don't believe that. You've never been lonely. You know what I think? About that man killed Aggie Kettleman? Now, I think he was lonely. I think she was lonely, too. Maybe if, if they could have just talked to each other, then they wouldn't have been strangers, and, and she wouldn't have got scared and started to struggle. Made him scared. You know, Gabe, if I'd have been me instead of Aggie, 
how to talk to him. All he wanted was a little affection. But everybody gets so scared. So scared. They think it's weak to be kind. Show somebody else a little affection. So they end up killing each other. Yeah. If that had been me instead, Aggie. That man wouldn't be having her death on his conscience right now. He wouldn't have had to be afraid. You don't owe me a thing. Oh, yes, I do. I owe you a lot. You made me make up my mind to something I've been thinking on for years. I'm leaving Rufus right now, this minute. Not for me. Oh, don't give yourself so much credit, kid. I'm not running after you. I'm just running now. Come on. Get in. I'll take you all the way to California. Oh, look. If anybody sees us out here, we're dead. They'll get in then, and they won't. Well, come on. <laughs> Billy George. Rufus must have called him, asked for help. I don't think they spotted us. What if they did? It's none of their business. They don't know us. We're going through. They can't stop us. Well, are you crazy? They'll ask for your license, your registration. I suppose it's probably in his name, huh? Yeah, well, what if it is? I'm his wife. I got a right to drive it. I don't think that gives you any rights. Well, I can't turn back now. That side road back there we just passed. Where's it go? It's just private, a washboard. Does it go anywhere? Yeah, through old man Keel's property to the back of his house. Hey, wait, wait, sure. In the front, he's got a drive going clear out to the highway. All right, back up. Take it. Sweet goodbye. One kiss is all, and I'll go back to Rufus. 
But I'll have something inside. Something holding me up. Oh, you're still making more of me than I really am. My kisses aren't so special. Or even so rare. Well, then you won't miss one. sound comes out of that big kissable mouth of yours when we get home. I'll hear words and music both. Now you get... Hello, 
Rufus? I was just... You were just. You're always just. I thought I broke you a pick enough with every flash of punk give you a tumble. I know you're mad, Rufus. And I expect you're gonna get madder. Because he wasn't telling no lie. I did invite him in for breakfast. Fine. Now you told me. Now you pick up them dirty dishes on the floor. And you get yourself on home. And you set yourself down and you wait. Sure. Sure. I'm on my way. Coming in there with you? Come on. Well, walk on out, boy. I won't bite you. I mean, if you let me go and her say so. Her say so don't mean beans. Now come on in the office and sign a receipt for your personal effects. You got everything back I took off of you except the knife. That's confiscated. Sign it. Well, maybe you want to check through your bag to make sure I didn't hold out any of your valuables. If it wasn't your wife, what changed your mind? Why don't I get to know? Why not? Another woman was killed about an hour ago. Same way as Aggie Kettleman. Had to be the same man. And much as I hate to admit it, there ain't a chance in the world that you did it. I see. One thing you'll find I got in common with my wife, boy. I'm just. I figure I give you trouble enough for 85 cents. Anyway, the man was seen this time, boy named Billy George. I got Bert out rounding up a posse right now. We're going after him. You know, I, uh... Turn back! Nummy! trip to California. <laughs> well, why don't you go? Go on, take off. I can't stop you. I can't do you no good. I'm stuck. You don't need me. But I guess you need me. tried to help me. Other women have tried it, but never like that. I almost always left him worse off than I found him. I gotta get over that. You couldn't help it. Can't help the way you put together. You're a beautiful boy. Don't ever call me that. Oh, I don't mean it that way. You're kind. I can always tell. You try to cover up with all that swagger, but you're beautiful inside. Inside and out, yeah. I can always tell. And why did you marry Rufus? He was good to me once. He was full of plans. Gonna grow up as a town. Like the town never grew up. He's going to be big in politics, state, not just the county. Them big politicians have held him down. Why? I guess they were scared of a real man, a man that'd stand up and fight. Well, they just wouldn't fight with him. So he started fighting himself. 
I guess you gotta feel sorry for it. Why? Why is it everywhere you turn today, you gotta feel sorry for somebody? Even him, and I do, and I don't want to. Speaking. Oh, come on. No, no, don't pull back. Don't get scared. I know I'm older, got nothing you want. Oh, look, will you stop knocking yourself? <laughs> Trying to say goodbye and can't even get that straight. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Some kooky name, huh? Sure, gotta be. You see something funny, Bert? Not me, Rufus. CCL, that's me. Just take this over to the jail. I'll take it. You close up. Uh, I don't think that's one of your better ideas, Mr. Selman. I know. But I got to, Joe. I just got to. No need for you waiting around for the tray far now. Bring it by in the morning. I'm waiting for Rufus anyhow. In there? With him? I'm a sight better off in there with him than out here with you. At least he's in a cage. Why, Fern, I ever say something you could take two ways? Never mind what you said. I don't like the way you clean your teeth when you look at me. There's some law against looking? If there is, Rufus knows it. Well, I sure don't mean to come between you and him, Fern. You better believe it, Bert. Now, open that door and close it behind me. CCL. food on the house? Oh, I'm sorry, Gary. Oh, forget it. I got the whole picture. I'm not blaming you. Look, he'll let you out. The devil just got up all scaring everybody before he turns them loose. Oh. He must be about ready to turn you loose. That's different. Yeah. Well, he's got you scared as to all. I don't want to talk about that. Now, what do you want to talk about? How I attacked that woman and cut her up with my knife? Then you can go tell Ruth. Oh, don't I... talk like that. Why not? Isn't that what they're all saying? Nobody believes that. Not even Rufus. Nobody in his right mind could think a good-looking boy like you would have to... Thanks, but I don't think anybody around here is in his right mind. you probably got more women friends you know what to do with. Yeah, maybe I ought to thank your husband. At least he put me where they can't get at me. Is that why you left New York in such a hurry? Some woman wouldn't leave you be? Who said I left in such a hurry? Well, you didn't save up very long for the trip. All right. All right, there was someone. <laughs> 